Here I'm going to show you how to remove spaces from text in Excel. And this includes leading or trailing spaces, so spaces that come before or after your text, spaces that come between your text, specific instances of spaces, maybe the first or the second or the third space. If you have doubled up spaces, I'll show you how to make those single spaces, and then how to remove spaces from selections of text or the entire workbook. And many of the methods I'm going to show you here will work not just for spaces, but for any character. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to Teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. All right, so here what we have is a column of data that has spaces and we want to remove or change the number of spaces. And then I've got a column here to show you how many characters are in the cell. It'll help us identify if spaces were removed or not. And then over here is sort of our result column and how many spaces are in there. So once again, it'll help us track if they were removed or not. And let's go with the first example, which is this cell right here. I will zoom in just a little bit. This is one of the most common problems, which is that a cell can have a space before it and after it. Notice that here before spaces are removed, we have nine characters. And here afterwards, we have seven characters. So there's actually a space after the text as well. And I'll go ahead and put length right in here so we know what that's for. So here when I double click, you can see we have the sneaky little space right there as well as the one you can see in front and it messes up a lot of things. Now there is thankfully such a nice, simple, easy way to remove that. We use the trim function. It removes all spaces from a text string except for single spaces between words. So let's try it out over here. And there we go. Voila. You can see that here using the len function. We now only have seven characters in this cell. And here using the same function, len, we have nine over here. So it has removed the space from the beginning and the end of the cell. And a little trick that I'll show you that will work with any of these examples where we're going to use a function or a formula is if you want to freeze this. So now it's a formula. If you want to make it the actual text, you can use copy paste special values, an amazing keyboard shortcut that you have to learn. It is simply select what you want to turn into its visible value, then go to control C to copy it, alt E S V enter. Now just the text we see no space at the end and no space at the beginning. But notice that it leaves our center space intact. So that was Control C, Alt ESV, Enter. Once you get used to doing that, let's back it up. It'll be as quick as this. Select the cell, Control C, Alt ESV, Enter. Done. All right, I'm going to leave it as a formula, but usually that's what you're want, going to want to do is to turn it into its visible value when you're done. So now let's go ahead and remove the middle spaces as well as any trailing or leading spaces because notice the middle one's still there. So here we have my text here. And what we're going to do is to use an amazing function for this. It is the substitute function. It's going to allow you to, let's fill it out, replace whatever text from this cell or any cell that you want with whatever text you want. So we have the substitute function, select the cell, that has the text you want to replace, then comma. Now, what text do we want to replace? Put that here, do a quotation mark, space, and another quotation mark. So we have put a space within quotation marks. Then we go to new text, just two quotation marks with nothing between them. Close it up, hit enter, and there we go, all spaces removed. So we can see instead of having 12 characters, we now have 10 characters. And of course you can use copy paste special values so that this becomes the visible text. No problem there. Now let's say that you want to remove a specific instance of space. So here we have two spaces. You want to remove the first or the second one. Well, we're going to use the substitute function for that as well. I tell you, it's a really great function. So we select the cell that has the text we want to replace. What do I want to replace? Same thing. I want to replace a space with nothing. And now we use the last argument, which is the optional instance number argument. 
And that's what actually makes this function so powerful, especially when we use it in much more complex formulas. But here we're going to keep it simple. Instance number, all that it means is which instance of this do you want to replace? So which space do I want to replace? Do you want to replace the first one, the second one, the third one? Let's say that we want to replace the first one. So the first instance I want to replace, and now it looks like that. Hit enter, and there we go. No space between the C and the one. So if you want to replace the second one, it pretty much works the same. Substitute, select the cell, old text, new text, instance number two, and there you go. And of course, if you want to replace all of them, just like we did in the previous example, you just leave out the instance number and all of them are gone. Or let's say that you wanted to replace the spaces with dashes. I like to use part numbers as examples and those oftentimes have dashes. So there we go, ASC dash one dash B. All right, I'm gonna delete this one now and leave in the other guys. Now let's move on to doubled up spaces. And I'm going to add one more example and that will be the same as this one. And we'll do equals len, all right, and set this one up as well. So there are a couple different ways to remove doubled up spaces. First of all, we could just use trim. So let's say that here you can see a double space with the first one, and then these two next ones have double spaces between each word. So trim will actually remove doubled up spaces. So if I select this, hit enter, we see 13 becomes 12, and there are no double spaces. And you can also do that down here. It doesn't matter how many doubled up spaces there are, just select this, hit enter, and it removes them. Or let's say that you have a lot of spaces. This didn't change at all. So we go from 27 down to 12. No problem. And what I'm going to do is actually back this up so it's easier to see that there are a lot of them. So there we go. But let's say that you only want to remove one set of the doubled up spaces, then we just use substitute again. So if you have doubled up spaces, but you want to keep them in the middle, or you don't want to remove all of them, or you've got a bunch of spacing, a lot of times if you have addresses, those are formatted in a very special way, and they can use spaces to format them. So you don't want to use just trim, just a blunt force removal of all of the spaces without discerning which ones you want to keep then it comes back to substitute. So we go ahead and bring back substitute and the text we want to replace. What do we want to replace? Let's say that we want to replace a double space, but we only want to replace the first double space. So double space in here. Notice there are two spaces, nothing in here, but I only want to replace the first instance of it. So that's if I want to remove it or if you want to just change it so that there is one space, just like that. And notice we still have the second double space. So don't just indiscriminately trim everything and then copy paste the special values over your original data set. Make sure that it's okay to remove every doubled up, tripled up, or consecutive space and trim it down to a single space. Particularly, like I said, with addresses, that can be an issue. Now the next methods I'm going to show you don't require formulas or functions at all. Simply select, let's go with selection here, select the text that you would like to change and make sure that you select more than one cell, especially if you only want it to work on the selection. And then you can hit control H to go to the find and replace window. But to be honest with you, it's very easy to forget that. I'm always forgetting that. So I just do control F and then go to the replace tab. So very easy to do that. And in here, just like with the substitute function, you say, what do you want to find and what do you want to replace it with? So we just put a, let's say, we want to replace all spaces with nothing, single space, just like that. Now you're not going to see anything there. So the moment you click away, you won't see anything there. If you're not sure what's there, just click and then use the arrow key to go over one. Okay, looks like one space. 
and I want to replace it with nothing. If you're not sure if anything's here, just hit the backspace and delete key a couple times and you should be good. And now you just do replace all or replace if you mess this up. So if you replace everything on the worksheet by accident, that's okay. You can hit control Z to undo it. This is not like a macro where you can't undo what you've done. So let's hit replace all. It tells you how many replacements it's made Four replacements. And you can see that this text no longer has spaces within it. Now we're going to do the same thing over here, but with the double spaces. So find what I always like to delete everything from here when I'm dealing with things that I can't see like spaces. So back it up. One, two, go down here, make sure I'm empty, back it up. One, let us move over here. Replace all for replacements. OK, close. And now it looks much better. Now, there's one thing you may have noticed, which is that the one, two, three here is still on the left. This one, two, three went to the right when I removed all spaces. So here Excel sees it as text and here Excel sees it as a number. So the moment I remove spaces, Excel decided now this is a number. So when you remove spaces, it may change how Excel interprets the data in the cell. So just take note when you are doing this on a very large data set. Just get a few sample pieces of data that represent the different types that you'll have in the data set. Test out what you're going to do on those pieces. And then when everything looks OK, apply it to the entire data set. But like I said, you can always hit Control Z to undo it when you use this feature. So it makes life really nice. All right, now let's go to the entire worksheet. So here we have a worksheet. We've got some spaces and I want to remove everything here. I'm not going to select anything. I'm just going to remain on this worksheet, hit control H or control F and then go to the replace tab, then go to the options section. And here we get lots of options. You can actually do a lot of really cool stuff with this, but we are going to keep it simple. So let us make sure that this is all empty and this is all empty. Now here, let's say that I just want to remove every space. So find what? One space. Replace with nothing. Then go down here to within. You can leave it at sheet with a single cell selected and it will perform this on the entire worksheet. So let's hit replace all. 15 replacements and notice no more spaces. It didn't even matter how many spaces there were in the cell. So if I hit control Z, You'll see more spaces had quite a lot. These guys had just a few, but then when I removed all of them, I'll hit control Y right now. It removed all of the spaces. So if you think that you're just going to remove something that is only a single space by doing that, nope. If you just put a single space up here and find what it will remove all spaces, not just a single occurrence of a space. If that sounds confusing, just do what I said earlier. Get a small part of your large data set, test everything out on that first, make sure it's okay, and then apply it to it. Now, the last thing is if you want to apply this to an entire workbook, you did just what I did right there, except for within, change it from sheet to workbook. Now, that is almost always going to be a horrible idea, <laughs> especially if you have a lot of worksheets, because you're going to remove spaces from places that you didn't even know had spaces. So I don't really recommend doing that unless you have to, or unless your workbook, your entire workbook is just full of raw data, not something that has to be presented to somebody else like your boss, because there are more spaces than you think in text. All right. This window is really cool, by the way. So I definitely recommend checking it out, but that is all that we're going to cover for the find and replace window for this tutorial. Remember control F to get to the find and then go to replace if you want to do it that way or control H to get back here. But that's how you do it using the find and find replace window. And over here are our examples for how to do it using the trim function and the substitute function. And that's all there is to removing spaces from text in Excel. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.